I'm Amy from Doodle Doll Designs. My mom is making a flower garden quilt using hexagons and she wanted me to make her some paper hexagons to use in the piecing of the quilt. So today I want to show you how easy it is to do this with the Cricut machine. I'm using Cricut Design Space, which is the free app or program that you use when designing things to cut with your Cricut machine. Choose shapes on the left hand side and then choose the hexagon. The size that it is showing you is the distance all the way across and the distance up and down. The hexagons used in the quilt are measured by the length of the one of the sides and that is hard to do in this design space. I found on the internet a hexagon calculator and you can put in a different side length. So for instance, she wanted one and a quarter inch sides. Once you enter the side measurement, it calculates the distance from edge to edge, which is D, and it is two and a half inches. Now if you wanted your sides to be two inches, then your width of your hexagon would be four inches. You can see that it changes automatically every time you change the length of the side. I have this chart here to show you how wide the hexagon needs to be for different side lengths. So I'm going to make this two and a half inches wide. And then it will make it the right height. So all of the sides then will be one and a quarter inches long. And then from here, I can just choose to make it. And then I'm going to say how many copies I want and I'm just going to put in 12 because I know that that is what will fit on a eight and a half by 11 inch sheet. So if you're doing a different size, you could play around with this until you figure out how many will fit on a sheet of paper. And then you can go ahead and send it to the Cricut machine to cut it. I'm going to use some cardstock paper and I've put it on my light grip mat. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.